Hello, we are all currently severely affected by the coronavirus pandemic. Worldwide, there are 803,650 confirmed infections and 39,033 deaths on March 31st, 2020, according to data from John Hopkins University. In many countries, the disease is on the rise, especially the southern European countries of Italy, France and Spain, but also the United States have extremely high mortality rates. China was the first country in the world to be affected by the new coronavirus, but does now seem to have things under control. Epidemiologists repeatedly point out the importance of laboratory diagnostics for the rapid identification of cases of illness in order to minimize the spread of the pathogen. In addition, laboratory diagnostics play a key role in deciding when sick people can be discharged as healed. The gold standard for coronavirus detection is RT-PCR. Pharyngeal swabs are usually taken as a starting material for diagnostics. Here the question arises, how accurate is the diagnosis using RT-PCR? A number of scientists from Guangzhou and Wuhan have worked on this question and published their study on March 26 in the Journal of Medical Virology. I would like to briefly present the most important results of this study. What was done in the study? The study was carried out at Hankou Hospital in Wuhan in the period from February 2nd to 17th, 2020. 610 patients were retrospectively examined who were clinically ill with COVID-19. From these patients, throat swabs were examined by RT-PCR. Patients with negative or questionable RT-PCR result were sampled again one or two days later. Patients with a positive uh, RT-PCR result were sampled again when the clinical symptoms improved. Apparently, in addition, chest CTs were performed in patients to confirm viral pneumonia. Of the 610 patients suffering from COVID-19, the disease was correctly confirmed using RT-PCR in a total of 241 cases, which is 39.5%. These 39.5% are not really conclusive when you look at this graphic, which is also printed in the paper. According to this graph, 37% were positive in the first test. 384 patients, 63% were tested negative. In a second test, 27% of the originally negative uh, patients became positive. Taken together, after a total of two tests, 320 patients were tested positive for the coronavirus virus, which corresponds to 54% of the patients with clinical COVID-19. Some other amazing results. Of the patients who were initially tested negative for COVID-19, three patients were tested positive after three swab samples, four patients were tested positive only after four pharyngeal swabs, one even after five repetitions of the procedure. It is quite astonishing and very worrying that 17 patients initially had positive results. After a few days, the results were negative, and again, a few days later, the results were positive again. What could be the reason that the PCR delivers so few positive or variable results? One reason might be that the sample material was of poor quality or that the sampling procedure itself was carried out improperly. Especially when taking swab samples of mucous membranes, it is important to ensure that enough mucous membrane material remains on the swab and that enough pressure is applied during sampling. 
Another cause can be a long time between sampling and PCR analysis or that the samples were stored improperly. The time of sampling during the cause of the disease can also play a role. In the cause of viral diseases, there are periods in which viruses are excreted and others in which this occurs to a lesser extent. In addition to possible errors when performing the PCR examination, it is also possible that the pharynx mucosa is not optimal for diagnostics and that it would be better to obtain sample material, for example, from deeper sections of the lung. Of course, this is difficult to do in practice. We are now coming to the conclusion and suggestions from the authors. All in all, it can be concluded that the PCR diagnostics currently considered as a gold standard are quite susceptible to errors. At least according to the study presented here, the RT-PCR delivers many false negative and variable results for COVID-19. Accordingly, the authors of the study recommend to immediately transfer suspect patients in critical condition to suitable hospitals even if the RT-PCR results are negative. They also recommend that the diagnosis of COVID-19 should not be based exclusively on RT-PCR, but should also include further examinations and findings, like clinical findings or chest CT. Otherwise, even when discharged, patients who are considered to be cured are at risk of being discharged too early based on negative RT-PCR results and are continuing to excrete virus. To prevent virus excretion, patients should remain in home quarantine for some time after discharge. In their study, however, the authors leave open how long this should take.